Easter eggs in video games. There's tons of them out there in countless different games, but I want to focus on just one of them, that being Totaka Song. Totaka Song is a simple little tune composed by Kazumi Totaka. There isn't much special about the song itself. It's very simple, but memorable. What makes this easter egg so cool is that it's hidden in many different games, rather than just one or two. Totaka Song is heard in games that Kazumi Totaka composed the music for. Totaka Song was first commonly heard in the 1992 game Mario Paint on the Super Nintendo. but was later discovered to be on a Game Boy game simply titled X, which was released in 1990. Just like the song itself, the history is simple, so enough about talking about the history, let's find it in some games that I happen to own. Luigi's Mansion is the first game we're going to look at. Luckily, finding Totaka's song in this game is very simple. Starting a new game, you play through it normally until you meet up with Professor E. Gad and he takes you back to his lab, which is only a few minutes into the game. After talking to you for a bit, he will take you to the training room to practice catching ghosts. But just before he takes you there, the controls will appear on screen. From here, you just don't move past the screen for three and a half minutes. It's that simple. After the time passes, the control screen music will change to a different song, and within this new song, Totaka song can be heard. Totaka Song is actually in the game twice. The second version goes unused, however, but it was likely intended to be played by Melody Pianissima during her music quiz. The next game is Animal Crossing on the GameCube. This one is also pretty easy. If you already have a save file that's past working for Tom Nook, you can find this one in less than a minute, but I decided to create a new save file to see how long it would take from the title screen to actually hearing Tortaka's song, and it took me a little under an hour. To hear Tortaka's song, you have to wait until a Saturday between 8pm and 12am. During this time, KK Slider will be sitting on a stool just outside the train station. You will need to talk to him and request the song, KK Song. He'll be surprised that you know of the song, and then he'll play it for you. Another way to hear Totaka's song in Animal Crossing can be done right after this. KK Slider will give you a copy of KK Song that can be played in your house, which is another version of Totaka Song. The third and final one I'm going to show off is in Mario Kart 8. This works on both the original Wii U release and the Switch Deluxe version. To hear Tortaka's song in Mario Kart 8, you'll need to be playing on a track that has Yoshis. Once the race starts, you'll need to find and drive up to a Yoshi. Being by a Yoshi, you'll hear it humming Tortaka's song, though it'll be extremely hard to hear it over all the music and sound effects. It may take a bit to find a Yoshi humming the tune clear enough to even slightly hear it. From my experience, Yoshis that are waving are the best ones to drive up to and listen for the tune. The most clear I had it sounding was from this pair of Yoshis in Yoshi's Valley. Luckily, people online have been able to mute the music and sound effects, and this is how it sounds. So that's the talk of song. It itself isn't a very big easter egg. But the fact that this tiny little tune sneaks its way into many different games makes it one of the coolest, and definitely one of my favorites. Now, I only went off a few examples of the Taka song in games, 
but there's many more out there. So, if you're ever curious, I would definitely give Tataka-san a search, and who knows, Tataka-san could be hidden in one of your favorite games.